Hello and welcome to the history of Firefly. Today's episode, the Unification War. And here we go. The Unification War was a war fought between the Union of Allied Planets and the Independent Planets from 2506 to 2511 AD. The Central Planets had taken much of the system's resources and technology and left the Outer Planets to fend for themselves. After years of unsatisfactory talks, the Outer Planets succeeded from the Alliance and gathered support of other planets. Their aim was to start their own alliance without the interference of the Central Planets. The Alliance could not accept this loss of face, so the war began. Set 500 years in the future, humans have colonized and terraformed a planetary system of unknown location. The system contained core planets and border planets. As a general rule, the farther out one travels, the less civilized society becomes. The core planets allied under a single government, the Alliance and declared war upon those planets that wished to maintain their independence. The independent planets, often referred to as brown coats. This series of events is recalled as the Unification War. The Alliance was victorious, and those surviving independence migrated towards the outer planets. In the aftermath, the Alliance deputized the Unificators to hunt down the so-called war criminals of the independence. The holidays of Alliance Day and Unification Day were created to celebrate the end of the Unification War and the creation of the Union of Allied Planets. Relatively little is known of the actual war itself. For example, it is unknown who actually started the war, though comments made by Jane implying that it was the Alliance. One of the most bloodiest battles of the war is the Battle of Sturges, which was fought over a hoard of money. It also took place entirely in space. Notable other conflicts are the Battle of Duquesne in 2510 and a long winter campaign in New Kashmir. One of the last and most grisly major battles in the war was the Battle of Serenity Valley, in which Malcolm Reynolds and Zoe Allen fought. Serenity Crew Involvement Throughout the run of the series Firefly, it is revealed what most of the crew of the ship Serenity did during the Unification War. Malcolm and Zoe served as independent faction soldiers in the 57th Overlanders Brigade. Jane Cobb did not serve in the war, although what he did do during the war has yet to be shown. He stated that the money was not good enough to justify the risk. Exactly what Simon and River Tam were doing during the Unification War is unclear, although they apparently didn't participate. They were born into a wealthy family on Osiris, one of the central planets, and supported the Alliance goal of unification though they may have simply been young and influenced by pro-alliance propaganda. River was only around 10 years old at the time the war ended, seven years before the TV series takes place, and thus could not have taken any meaningful action during it. Simon apparently entered medical school around the same time the war began, or slightly later, and may have gotten a student deferment, possibly influenced by his wealthy parents. The Alliance certainly had numerical superiority, and didn't need to scrape the bottom of the barrel for manpower. Given that the war lasted for five years, Simon may have graduated before the war ended, but he said that after his internship, he immediately began working as a trauma surgeon in one of the major hospitals of Osiris's capital city. The TV series never mentions what Kaylee or Inara did during the war. However, Inara told Mal in the episode Out of Gas that she supported unification. Daryl Book's past is mysterious, even to the other crew members, though he may have past Alliance ties. In Serenity, The Shepherd's Tale, it is shown that he had worked for the Independent Planets faction to sabotage a major Union of Allied Planets operation. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Firefly, and special thanks to the Firefly fandom page for all information you heard today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.